Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be reviewing how to write and convert regular time and military time. So when it comes to writing regular time, you have your hours, your minutes, and then your seconds, and then you have your AM or your PM. So let's look at this regular time. We have 934 and 25 seconds AM. So my hours is nine, minutes is 34, seconds is 25, and then this is AM. All right, what about this regular time? Seven is my hours, 27 is the minutes, 56 is going to be the seconds, and this is PM. Now let's look at military time. To write military time, you have your hours followed by the minutes and then the seconds. Notice here that I do not have a colon in between my hours and my minutes when it comes to military time. Or you can write it as your hours with the colon, then the minutes, and then the seconds. So let's look at this example here. We have 0934 hours. So we have our hours, which is 09 here. 34 is going to be the minutes, and then 25 is the seconds. Or you may write this military time with the colon included. Let's look at this example. My hours is 19. My minutes is 27, and my seconds is going to be 56. Or you may rewrite it with the colon. So it's going to be 19 colon 27 colon 56 hours. So let's get into some examples. Let's say that we are converting regular time to military time. So if I gave you the time 12 a.m. regular time, Military time is going to be 0, 0,100 hours, or you can write it with the colon, it's going to be 0, 0,100 hours written like this as well. So if I gave you the time 3.30 p.m., military time, I'm going from regular time to military time, I'm going to add 12 to the hour number. This is going to be 15.30 hours, or if you write it with the colon, it's going to be 15 colon 30 hours. Okay, so let's try this regular time. We have 11.19 a.m. So military time is going to be 11.19 colon 48 hours. Or if you're going to add the colon, you're going to write 11 colon 19 48 hours. Let's try 8.23 54 seconds p.m. Since I'm going from regular time to military time, I'm going to add 12 to my hour number. So this is going to be 20, 23, 54 hours. My eight is now 20 because we added 12 to the hour number. Or you're going to see 20 with the colon and 54 hours written like this. What about 4.27 and 35 seconds p.m. military time because I'm going to add 12 to my hour number. This is going to be 1,627, 35 hours, or you're going to add the colon, 1,627, 35 hours. So let's look at this regular time here. I'm going to add a zero in front of my hour number because this is AM. So we have zero two 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 colon two three hours. Or if you add the colon, it's going to be zero two 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 and twenty three hours. So now let's try going from military time to regular time. So let's look at this example. We have 060345 hours. So if I convert this to regular time, this is going to be 06 colon 0345 a.m. And the reason why this is a.m. is because I have a zero right here in front of my hour number. And we know when you have a zero in front of the hour number, that means a.m. If it's p.m., that means you have to add or subtract 12. So let's say we had 1,200 hours for military time. And to convert to regular time, this is going to be 12 o'clock p.m. What about 15, 16, 
43 hours. Regular time, I'm going to subtract 12 because I'm going from military to regular. This is going to give me three. So my regular time is going to be 316, 43 seconds, and this is going to be PM. What about 16, 1900 hours? Let's see. Regular time, I'm going to subtract 12. This is going to give me 4. So my regular time is going to be 4, 19 p.m. So 10, 33, 28 hours. Regular time, this is going to be 10, 33, 28 seconds. And this is going to be a.m. Let's try 21, 11, and 34 hours. Regular time, I'm going to subtract 12, and this is going to give me 9. So my regular time is going to be 9, 11, and 34 seconds, and this is going to be PM. All right, so that is all for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.